talk about why are software developers being losing money and getting paid less money and it's very simple it's called internationalization companies can now hire software developers from other countries and pay them five dollars an hour because they can live with five dollars an hour but here's the thing you might think hey why would i become a software developer go through all that pain to suffer all that and just get paid minimum wage or even less worse than minimum wage the reason for that is this because as a software developer this is what a real software developer's view looks like you can travel the world meet great people and experience this surreal beautiful nature because here five dollars can get you a full course meal can get you a lot of stuff very cheap everything is very cheap in third world countries i'm not in a third world country i'm in puerto rico i speak two languages which opens more more um opportunities for you to travel and that's why you would become a software developer because maybe you can make more money at a city job but you're not going to enjoy this or this or that <laughs> so that's a, re a really good reason why you would become a software developer and enjoy traveling the world meeting great people and eating great food and all that stuff even though you're going to make less money which is true now because of internationalization but you will enjoy a really rich lifestyle that you can just never you don't have where do you get this in a city where do you enjoy amazing views like this and like that in a city like there's gridlock there's a lot of cars clogging roads and everything and it's terrible you don't experience that here in third world countries or in beautiful islands like puerto rico you have more freedom and things are cheaper and like i said so that's an advantage and another point is that we are gonna make less money from now on because of the pandemic because now companies know that we can the other programmers can work cheaper but a, a colleague has told me that it's too early for that why because even though we can companies can hire people for less money it is very hard to manage them because they don't speak english and their skill sets are different and their time frame is totally different it's not the same time frame they can be eight hours ahead of the american time frame or eight hours below or it's it's very complicated so it's hard managing those teams they do they do work for a lot less but it's hard and another factor which makes uh undercutting or, or, or paying developers less money is which makes that harder for companies that so so companies aren't going to be able to pay developers less money another factor is that even if they want to try and pay software developers less money there is this situation where people are just born with a logical mindset not everybody's born with that mindset people have different strengths and weaknesses and sadly for companies and good for us developers most people are born with a creative artistic emotional uh strengths and they're not they're not born with logical analytical most people hate math most people don't like logic don't like science don't like programming sadly most people are like that so even if people if companies want to undercut us they're gonna have a hard time doing that because not everybody's willing to put in the hard work even though you can always learn programming for free and it's all available to you right now and it's free and easy anyone can learn it not everybody is born with the mindset so that's another reason why software developers we're not going to lose our income very fast and and, and start like uh being a saturated market anytime soon that's not going to happen anytime soon because like i said a very small amount of people is born with that mindset with that genetic marker and it's not that we're superior we have our weaknesses we have our strengths just like everybody else we depend from people that's that's how society works nobody's better than anybody we're just different and we have our strengths and weaknesses and together we can work together and, and achieve society achieve civilization so in summary are developers gonna become a saturated uh, 
low paid job? Uh, the short answer is no. Uh, first, because you can travel the world and you can live off less money and still live really well. Second, uh, the language barrier and the time frame barrier. It's hard to manage teams that don't speak English and they're in a very different time zone. And uh, the also legal legal legalities. Managing those teams is different because they can like take the code and sell it for a profit and stuff like that. So there's there's that all that stuff. But um, in short answer, yeah, software developer, awesome job. Where even if we get paid a little bit less because of internationalization, because of the pandemic, everybody working on the internet now the the pool pool of people that are willing to do a job is bigger. It's the whole planet. We're not gonna we're not gonna make less money because we are rare. We're not the majority, and most people can't. Um, most people don't speak English. And if they do, they, they're not willing to get paid that less money because they're very few. And yeah, some of us do get undercut, but it's too early for that. And even if we do, we still get a decent lifestyle. Like I said, w would you like to be live in the city and get a really good salary? And then most of the salary goes to your house to pay in the house, paying the bills and of living in the city, which is insanely expensive, or would you like to live in a place like this and enjoy this amazing views, travel the world, meet great people and have fun? Why, why would you choose to stay in one place all your life? It doesn't, doesn't make any sense. So still, even if you get paid less money, software developer is the way to go. So guys, like, share, subscribe. See you guys.